In the Caribbean, land comes in all shapes and sizes. If you visit the biggest islands in the Caribbean, the first thing you'll notice is that they're crawling with anoles. Look closely and you'll see that these anoles come in all shapes and sizes too. And just like bodybuilders and ballerinas, an anole's anatomy can tell us a lot about how it makes a living. All of these anoles live side by side here in Puerto Rico. But they aren't just randomly scattered all over. They specialize, so you tend to find each type in a different part of the forest. Some low, some high, some on the tree trunks, and others out on the smallest twigs. Hop over to a second island, and the pattern becomes clearer. Here in the Dominican Republic, the anole species are different than the ones in Puerto Rico. But look around, and it'll feel like deja vu. Across the Caribbean, anoles that live in the same part of the forest share similar anatomical features, no matter which island they inhabit. It's such an unusual pattern that anole researchers invented a word to describe it. They called these anole types that repeat from island to island ecomorphs. Since each island has different species but the same ecomorphs, the big question is whether these ecomorphs evolved once and then spread to the different islands or evolved separately on each island. At one extreme, all the ecomorphs could have evolved just once, then spread from island to island. At the other extreme, anoles could have spread to different islands first, and then evolved into the ecomorphs separately on each of the four islands. Jonathan and his colleagues collected DNA samples from 55 species of anoles to build an evolutionary tree that encompassed every ecomorph on all four islands. Had the ecomorphs truly evolved independently on different islands? Well, the DNA should tell us. The tree gave them an astonishing answer. Despite all the variation among them, anoles living on the same island were more closely related to each other than to species on other islands even the ones that looked strikingly similar. This meant that anoles had colonized the different islands first, and then evolved on each island into a virtually identical community of ecomorphs. No one could ever argue about that again. They evolved independently on each island. These scientists had revealed another law of the lizard. When they live in the same type of environment, Different species evolve similar traits to survive, again, and again, and again. Well, people were very excited when this result came out, because it showed that evolution does repeat itself, that there are rules to evolution. 